Thanks for having me on. Hey, what's going on? It's Sean Solo White, and today I'll be going over another G.I. Joe Classified Series action figure for review. Today from Special Missions Cobra Island, we have Baroness with Cobra Coil. This is going to be my first Marvel Legends bike, which is absolutely awesome. Really stoked about that. The package art looks super, super cool. You can see the Baroness down here on the bottom with her gold gun. And of course, I don't know if this is the Cobra Coil or the name of the bike. Let me know about that in the comments below. It is number 13, just says G.I. Joe classified on the top. On the back, you're treated to a pretty cool Cobra Island imagery here. I'm not sure if there's one of those little red things in the package or not where you can actually see what's going on. And there is the side stats for the Baroness. She is number 13. And on this side of the package, you get an awesome illustration of the Baroness. Looks sweet and it carries on over to the opposite side of the box. Boom, the Baroness is out of her package with her bike. As you can see, she looks absolutely fantastic. And here's the Baroness just holding her two golden guns, looking absolutely fabulous. Overall, man, this figure is so awesome. Really glad I actually fixed those glasses right there because to me, it looks pretty good. Let me know uh, what do you guys think. But I think it looks fantastic. I just want to show you guys a close-up of how messed up the glasses were when they came out of the package. I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but that is an absolute bummer. I'm going to try to fix that and get it back into place off camera, and we'll go from there. But I just used a hair dryer, which a lot of people always leave tips like that in the comments below. I really do appreciate that. And you can see I just heated it up and pushed it back in, but my lenses are still a little bit messed up. I love how you can see her teeth around her lipstick looks super cool. And the little gold trim up on her glasses look fantastic too. But I just wish my lenses were a little bit more clear. But overall, yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? I love the gray suit and it's got a nice texture on there. I love the little Cobra shield pieces here. Those are pretty soft and rubbery too, but those look fantastic. She's got the Cobra symbol up there on her chest. And the gray and black goes all throughout the body. Her belt looks fantastic. She does come with this little gold dagger that does come out of her holster. While we're here, you can look at her wrist gauntlet too. Also has a nice Cobra paint on there. Here's her golden gun that she comes with. She actually comes with two of those. She's got pouches on her belt there where I guess the guns are gonna fit right in. But yeah, they do, they fit really good right there. The gray texture goes all throughout her legs. Her boots look dynamite. They look like some massive kiss boots. Something Gene Simmons would wear. She does have some pretty nice drop down legs. Very slight, you can see him moving there. Nice upper swivel cut. He's got a nice swivel in the waist and on the upper torso. So she can articulate really, really good. Just down extremely well. She looks back pretty good too because her hair is pretty soft and bendy. As you can see, I can actually bend it right there. She's got lots of emotion. The glasses aren't designed to be removed. The joint in her neck actually moves with her head. And there is a slight butterfly joint in the shoulder. And her arms pop up. Really good. Single jointed elbow that doesn't pop up very high at all. Got a really nice hinge on her wrists. Crunch to the front and she crunches back exceptionally well too. That looks pretty cool. You can have her doing some sort of kick and we'll check out the legs while we do that flying out like that would look cool but yeah that looks fantastic so yeah her legs kick up to about there the double jointed knee pops up to there i love the little gold on her boot looks cool too a nice rocker on the boot and a hinge the belt strap if you're curious does move up and down and here's the baroness with her cobra coil The coil definitely looks pretty cool, wrapped around a wrist like that. So what that exactly does, I'm not 100% sure, but look at the detail on that, it looks fantastic. 
snake looks really cool from both angles. The eyes even look to me and the camera have a little bit of red in there. Yeah, that looks great, doesn't it? For dagger, just pop out and it's all black on here. Let me put this in her hand. But yeah, here she is with her dagger. It's fantastic too. Looks really good. But yeah, overall, I love this figure. Really, really glad to pick it up. Let's take a quick look at the bike. Here's how she looks with the helmet on. You see the detail isn't too bad. I do like how you can see her neck. Back there looks pretty cool. And there's a little bit of gloss in the front, so you can't tell it's actually a visor. But other than that, yeah, not too much detail going on there. On the bike, she does fit both hands on the handles, which looks cool. It does come with this pretty cool kickstand. And you can see the little green tone in here. And this part does articulate slightly, and so do the handlebars. Actually move the tire slightly, as you can see there. But overall, it looks cool. The paint apps look pretty good. There isn't very much paint apps going on. I wish it could have looked a little bit cooler, especially for being my first Marvel Legends bike. You can see the front wheel goes up really good. But yeah, look how cool that looks. That's super, super cool. Really cool concept. Nice to have something extra to go with that there. To go with the bundle price. But yeah, the bike is definitely cool. These guns, you do have to add them. They do articulate slightly. And of course they can come off too to give you, if you don't want a uh, very much toy like fabulous figure. And if you can get your hands on her, I would not pass this up, definitely. Thanks for checking out today's video. Check out one of the videos up on the screen. And until the next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.